the forest, uh, coming to help out Elf Waifu, a.k.a. Alhana, and Malcolm, the knight that went with her. Uh, you eventually found them both dead uh, at the gates of the Tower of the Sun in the center of Sylvanost. Uh, you got through the door, uh, have faced many trials and tribulations in the nightmare of hallways and traps and corpses and death and blood whites. Uh, along the way, Canathus, or sorry, uh, Lumia wound up resurrecting Alhana, but she is still unconscious and in fragile condition at the expense of Lumia's sight. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, you guys also <laughs> found two uh, Wigglefoots that were uh, captured and going to be cooked as stew. No idea if either of them is the real one or if they are both part of the ever-present illusions and nightmares. Uh, now you, you have reached a staircase at the back of the tower that seems to go up. Uh, Sebastian went up ahead of you, and you have not heard anything from him since. Because I uh, thought we were all charging up there at once. The, the wiggle feet uh, snuck upstairs and said something about there being a dragon up there. And that, I believe, is where we left off. I believe we left off actually with us piling into this room here and going to sleep. All right, right. You guys were doing that, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, before we go to sleep, since we still have some injured people, um, <coughs> I guess I'm going to channel energy. So everyone in the party gain the 12 hit points. Twelve <laughs> hit points, you say? For Hedren, Wigglefoot, and Talion. Yeah, for Wigglefoot. Yeah. The most important character. Clearly. All right. Uh, that's, um, that's it for Lumia healing almost. And so you guys posting watches? How are you doing this? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah. I mean, yes, we're posting watches. Okay. You, details, man. Figure this shit out. I'm not doing it for you. Uh, I'll go on third watch. Guess uh, I'll take first and second with Barris and Bro, respectively. Alright, please yeah. type it out in the Roll20 chat so I have a convenient list to look at. Alright, first watch... Appreciate it. <laughs> Third takes Dragon Scales watch. <laughs> scrub, scrub, scrub. Uh, what is, did, were there any NPCs you wanted to play third? Eh. You should play as the siren. You could be Baza, be a grumpy Draconian warrior. Sure, I guess. I don't know. Uh... Baza is a fucking boss. Just walk up to things and hit them. More or less. Uh, this might not be like the current, but there you go. You can be Baza. <coughs> Cat, what do you want? Huh? Access to this link has been disabled. Oh my god. Roll 20. Why are you so annoying? It's Dropbox. Huh? Oh, you're Sebastian. That's, sorry. Well, I'm actually bitching about multiple things there. Uh, Alright. Do this another way. There. <sighs> Alternatively, you could play a Wigglefoot. Hmm. Doesn't bother me one way or another. Well, I'd like you to have something to do while your uh, main character is polishing scales. Uh. Alright, well, you're playing boss. fine. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Talion will chip in. And first, Wigglefoot, or Wigglefeet, will jump in on second. Yeah, that's it. All right. Hey, right, you go to bed. Uh, let's see if anything happens. First watch goes by. Jamina, Varys, and Talion without instant. Second watch goes by. Jamina, Brell, and Wigglefeet without incident. Third watch. Dun 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 dun. Something happens. Oh no. What do I want to fuck with you guys with? Oh, yeah. Could mm. I have control over Lumia's token? Might might be helpful. Yeah, in a minute. Okay. Just in case this is, uh, just in case Baza is needed, I would like to point out that I am on the dragon map at the moment. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a monster I can use for a random encounter that I haven't. Haven't overdone. Uh, flail snails. <laughs> Third. <laughs> Terrible. It's a legit monster. It is. Also, like the they best do monster. wild magic whenever they hit no, you. No, <laughs> screw it. No, no, nothing happens. Your rest is peaceful. Yay! Thank God. I, I've thrown enough enough things at you. Thank oh, Jesus. set for Lumia. Something happens to Lumia in the night. Oh, boy. Let me go ahead and give you control, Varus. All right. Da, 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 da. Let me find my little read aloud here. Uh, I'm going to copy-paste what I'm about to read to Canathus. All right. Lumia, during your rest, uh, you have a dream, a dream that seems far too real. In it, your goddess, Mishakal, appears, leaning heavily on her blue crystal staff, her robes tattered and stained with blood. She leans down and gently cups your chin, her flesh so real that you can actually feel its supernatural warmth. She says, Lumia, dear... I am so sorry. You should never have had to spend your sight in such a way, but my power is strained. Takisis' forces make war in the heavens as well as on your world. She sighs. We will win here, but not soon enough, I fear. She acts to delay us. The world's fate will hang on the actions of mortals, not on that of the gods. Her fingers brush against your cheek. This conversation alone will cost our celestial forces hundreds of lives, and this, she pauses, brush, brushing your eyes, will cost more. But your friends will need you. The world will need you. The vision fades, uh, leading you back into slumber. The last image of your contact with the gods is of her hand holding two cracked scales. In your own hands, you can feel two wafers pressed against your palm. There you go, dream over. Spooky. Yeah. You get a vision. Yay. Oh, and uh, that means uh, one of Lumia's negative levels goes away if we complete the rest tonight. Yep. Yay. Oh, uh, you are aware that uh, those blessed wafers are equivalent to having eight hours of rest 
and time to prepare your spells. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, two of those. Divine interventions. Well, uh, we're probably going to need those against the dragon. Nah. I'm sure like 30 dragons are going to show up and just push our taints in. <laughs> oh, so I guess I should give Lumia back her sight. <clears throat> oh, she got her sight back too. Well. Wow. Yep. <coughs> Scales were removed from her eyes. It's biblical. <laughs> I got a message back from Kanathas. Ooh, oh shit. Oh shit. <sighs> Alright, rest is over. What do? Wake up, party. Alright, well, let me throw spells back on all my characters and then, uh,. I guess we're just gonna fucking uh, go on, uh, go on ahead up the stairs. Didn't we? Uh, did we have more kinder than this. We actually have uh, less kinder than this. Oops! I, ac I accidentally made double wiggle foots. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. C can we? A nail down how we conjugate wiggle foots or wiggle feet. Uh, uh, his name is Wiggle Foot, so it is Wiggle S. Foots. Yeah. yeah. Wiggle but foot. Wiggle Feet is more fun to say, yeah. so I, I will probably use that a lot. Alright, uh, so yeah. Oh, yeah, Sebastian isn't there. But yeah, in, uh, in character, uh, where is what spawn? Oh yeah, uh, Sebastian. Right. Where'd he go? I think that little runt ran upstairs. <laughs> really? Oh, I saw him upstairs. He was polishing the dragon scales. What the hell? It he looked doing like up really there? hard work. Well, he went up there because he said you guys were gonna come kill the dragon. Huh. Uh, and then the dragon looked at him funny and said some things. And I, I guess like I, I I didn't know about it, but he must have some kind of like scaly fetish. Because he got down on his knees and started. All right. Look, have you know, heard about dragon? his his like dark lady or whatever it is that he keeps wandering on about? I'm pretty sure oh, we yeah. always knew he was into dragons. I just didn't know he was into dude dragons. Wait, she's a dragon? Yeah, yeah. He just said she was hot. No, well, she's hot in a totally different way than uh, <laughs> I think you thought. This is a fire drake. What's a drake? It's a, it's a, it's a dragon. No, uh. -huh. Pretty sure Drake's like a boy dragon. Maybe it was a Fuda dragon. You don't know. Let's go upstairs. What's a Fuda? Uh, Varys will just point at Jamina. Song, song. Fuda's a horse? I love Fuda's. <laughs> oh, uh, Finn. Apparently, you're muted in the um in the stream. Oh no! no. So people just no. hear us talking, and then there's this pause. They missed the epic read aloud. Oh well. Just just Sucks paste it into Fen Chat, it's fine. <laughs> no. I would need a real IRC client or more patience than I have right now. <laughs> Alright, see. So, yeah. uh, so who's going up first? Uh Jamina? Sure thing. Alrighty. Actually, uh yeah, give me like Line up in, in like the room here and up towards the stairs with your marching order. Alright. As Lumi has her sight back, she'll, she'll probably be pretty close to the front. Probably get Ashereth out of here. Yeah. Now she's here. She's not gonna get a turn. Alright, so.
So Italian, I guess we'll bring up the rear guard. Huh. Ohana's being car who's carrying Ohana? Uh Shouldn't we just leave her and Malcolm and like down here maybe have Talion watch over them? Alright. Oh, does that sound alright to everyone? Okay. Talion will do that. Uh, actually, yeah, Nothing Ash will do that too. Long. That'll work out great. Alright, Baza uh, and Jamina. <laughs> Please, like, move yourself into the line here. Do we want to throw buffs down before we go upstairs? Since <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty that sure. Like nice... Do we know what color it was? Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say green, just because that's what it we've was... been fighting. It that was vermilion. Right. No, uh, it was emerald. It's green dragon. So it's type of green. Okay. What the greens do, they do like acid. acid. Mm -hmm. I think they purr while you rub their scales. That's kind of weird. That's what I saw that one doing. Hmm. How many um, how many people do we have uh, likely to actually participate in combat? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> eight people. Plus the wiggle feet. Eight. Who the fuck just disappeared? Huh? Kieran just vanished. Hey, you guys lost track of her. What? Like in the night, or did she just slip off like right now? Uh, she slipped off while you guys were organizing yourselves. Okay then. Well, I can put communal stone skin and communal resist elements on folks, but uh, with eight, each person is going to get uh, 12 minutes worth of absorption. I think that's more than enough time to kill a dragon. For what element? Uh, acid and stone skin is just physical damage. You're paying the reagent cost for stone skin, right? And that... Um, uh, intuitive wizard archetype. So oh, you're, you're still using the, the fucking cheaty ass uh, <laughs> stuff. Okay. Cheaty ass third party stuff. Uh, Alright. So the party has stone skin. Uh... And resist elements, butts. Is everyone, do you have enough for everyone, I guess? Yeah, it's 120 minutes worth of it, and it just divides duration uh, among participants. So with eight, that's uh, should be eleven or twelve minutes for each person. Uh, if you did eight people, there's nine people going upstairs, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think we were counting the wiggle feet. We were counting Kieran, but she fucked off. Pick someone to not get buffed. Could we just cover both wiggle feet? Then? Or spread it around, I don't care. But I'll just put it on nine mm -hmm. people, so everybody gets, uh, let's say, ten minutes, for okay. sake of simplicity. Wait. You are buffed. Brella's going up, I guess? Or... Yeah, Brella's going up with us. <clears throat> okay. Um... Uh, just FYI, um, as we're going upstairs, uh, Varus is going to ready an action to haste the party and Brel to cast Displacement on Jemina. Uh, in the event that uh, we uh, see the dragon. Wait, what's being done? You're prepping what? I'm 
prepping an action to cast spells if we see the dragon, specifically haste from Varus and displacement from Brel. Uh, displacement okay. on Jemina, specifically. Um, you have to be touching someone to cast displacement. Yeah. Brel and Jemina are on opposite ends of the party. Can she not, um, like, as part of that action, like, prepared action, like, fly up and do it, or? No. Does it have to be just, okay. And she'll prepare to cast it on Teacup. Alright. Except the Baru. Right. Let's mosey on up. Get over here. Harden everyone being upside down. It was the easiest way to get the order correct. Holy fuck. What's up? <laughs> well, hold on. Uh, <laughs> ready to actions? Yeah, ever, go ahead and cast your haste and your, uh... Alright. Haste will and go your, uh, your thing. I'm gonna yeah. go ahead. I have another read aloud here. Uh... Before we start, looking at this, I have this... Karasan level of uh, shit going here. Healing vibe. Alright. Hopefully I didn't have any typos in all of this. Or, also, I hope I didn't miss expounding on anything I meant to here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the Grand Chamber of the Speaker of the Sun, the ruler of Sylvanost, has been reduced to little more than rubble. The ceiling of the chamber has been completely removed, torn off by forces beyond your comprehension. In its wake, thousands of people of shattered stained glass and stone are scattered across the floor. The columns that once supported it are broken off halfway, and the intricately woven carpets on the floor are already turning to rot. Lorak Caladon sits askew in his throne, hunched over an orb of glowing, swirling colors. He seems a small, fragile thing next to the horribly beautiful form sprawled next to him. A green dragon of incredible size and weight l lays there, radiating magic so strongly that it hangs around him in a prismatic corona. His scales seem infused with it, even as a small kinder polishes them. Purple flames flicker around his head like an eldritch crown. The three pulsating portals in the room seem to be the source of his overwhelming magical might. Even now, they feed more energy through coruscating bands into him. The grinning worm pulls away from Lorak's ear once you crest the stairs, regarding you with eyes as large as boulders and as keen as elven blades. He laughs at the sight of you, a sound somewhere between the wheezing of a dying man and a rock slide. Fa! You've wasted your time here, heroes. Lorak Caladon and his kingdom are mine. The time of the elves is ending. The age of chromatic dragons approaches, and you can either kneel as slaves or never live to see it. Right, feel free to react as you would. All I heard was, gay, 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 I love cock. Fantastic. Was that in character? <laughs> yeah. I'll cast uh, Displacement on myself, because uh, hmm, that is a much b bigger dragon than I thought it would be. He just kind of languidly scratches at his chin. We will <laughs> never be slaves. Not to your kind. Then I'm going to... Uh... Dude, that was even gayer than what he said. <laughs> Holy shit. Eh, fuck you. Let's go, let's go over here. 
know you're an elf, but come on, like, let's go up the schlong. I must admit, I'm surprised the nightmare didn't claim you. Of course not. We're scarier than the fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh, you mortals think so highly of yourselves. Oh, you dragons think so highly of yourself. <laughs> Ever get punched by gold dragon? <laughs> nope. Ah, guess who did and survive? Fuck you, charge. Alright. Uh, alright, so what are you charging? I'm charging... straight <clears throat> there, right in between there, so I... Get you, you can't, you can't, like, you can't charge through the portal. Or else oh, you will go charge. into the portal. I can charge right. here. Okay. I'm going to give Jamina a surprise round and then we'll enter normal initiative. Everyone go ahead and please roll. Was anyone really surprised by that on our... Fuck yes! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you're not... Goddamn dragon is not played properly on the tiles. Well, yeah, it is. It's just the token stretched out way huger than it's meant to be. <laughs> Ah, two can now, play that game. You know, you s s s <laughs> stay aligned on the grid. Uh, let me here. Let me let me make things easy for you. Uh, da, 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 da. Just move it up so it's aligned with grid. There. Down or whichever. That uh, that is the space of his token, effectively. Okay, so I charge, I have the haste buff, uh, what else do I have on me? Uh, just haste right now. Okay, so... <coughs> well, let's see if I can actually hit the son of a bitch. Let's see, 36, 34, 27, and 26. One and I gotta check on the rules for an ability. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see. 36 will hit. Uh, 34 will miss. Wow. 27 will miss. Yeah, so you get one hit. Hold on. Uh... For Oh, wait, it's and it seems like it does less damage than it should. Plink. A second. Oh, is anyone uh, else going to get on the initiative here? I only see... Uh, oh, like I, we're doing the surprise first, remember? Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Saving, you were saying something? Uh, I was going to say, I don't think I can take immediate actions during a surprise round, can I? Nope. Nope. Well, you're flat -footed. One minute you're sitting there talking, and then you just see Jamina's ass on the other side of the room. <laughs> I, to be fair, Varys is always standing at, at Jamina's ass. Oh, don't forget your extra attack from haste. I don't know if you put that in there. Yeah, that's. Okay. I have a map of that already. Okay. Fucking counts. Uh, si since you uh, like can already kind of guesstimate his AC, I'll just tell you it's 36 right now. Okay. Wow, that's high as fuck. Yep. Man, the super awesome magical bow I got sure gonna come in handy. Yay! <laughs> hey, Varys! Yeah, what's Point? up? You got a nat 20 there. Yeah, I did. Uh, so... Uh, right, is, hang on, is everyone in the initiative that needs to be? Uh... I think so. Okay. Holy shit, Agita did not roll up one? <laughs> That's my liar. Oh, I forgot to roll for Wigglefoot. I, I figured it would be good to bring my A game against the dungeon boss. <laughs> See, Wigglefoot gets a plus five, so... 
It should actually be 11. All right, it looks like Hedra is still going to get her turn first after the surprise round, too. So, go nuts. Jimena, do you okay. want to delay after me so I can buff you again? Mm -hmm. Or at least uh, countermand the... Uh, or lessen your chance to mess a little bit. Okay, sure. All right. Oh, fine. Should I roll for Sebastian, too, or give you his character sheet, or what? He's not acting. No. He, he, uh, he has been mentally commanded to take a break, which does not go against his nature. So he's going to take a break. <laughs> Alright, so I believe that makes it my turn then. Jimmy is holding. Okay. I'm waiting to laugh because he said he was going to do something. Yeah, well, do your that, thing. that lets me gallantly inspire you to. Uh, you know, get rid of some near misses. Uh, so first of all, uh, so I can see Sebastian down there. What does it look like he's doing right now? Uh, he is sitting down and opening up his pouches, uh, pulling out some crackers. Uh, is there any indication that he's like, I don't know, like drooling like an idiot or cross-eyed or something? Makes like sense. Been... Motive check. All right. I think that's probably offering some of those crackers to Caladon. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Boom! Fucking 30. What's up? Alright, let me see what how to calculate the DC for this. That's two 20s like... in a row. I am prepared oh, for shit fest. It's then a natural 20. Okay, okay, so I yeah. see that... Uh... He's obviously under magical compulsion. Alright, so... <laughs> Sebastian would never sit down and eat crackers. God, well, what kind of savage is he? Hey, Mr. Ugly Elf, you want to play some marbles? <laughs> Alright, so that's that's good for me to know. Alright, so next up, uh, Brel's going to cast a spell magic on the Portal of Nightmares here. Uh, hang on a second. Alright. Uh, have her make a will save. Oh boy. Let's see. Brel and uh, Varus, Varus should too. Varus, okay. Uh, will save for Brel? Oh boy. Gee, I wonder what the mind broken moth girls will save is. Eh, it's not bad. If you get less than a 26, you are shaken. Okay, so Brel is shaken. Uh, Varus' willpower is slightly better. Damn it! Minus two on attack rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and ability checks. Okay. So, that said, uh,. Bell's going to cast a spell magic on the portal here. Uh, okay. Uh, so do I need to do anything for that, or...? It automatically fails. Okay, then. Well, that was that that plan. Uh, Tig is going to move in. One, two, three, four. So you said something about lessening the chances to meet the miss? Uh, yeah. I, I will get on that in just a sec. Uh, let's see. And then uh, Varus will uh, scuttle butt on in. Let's see, what's the range on Dominate Person? Not that close. Okay, yeah, that's, that's going to take me a while. Uh, I'm going to so use purple dots for shaking. Alright. Uh, Varus will just start <laughs> bard songing. And then cast Song Heal on him, Jemina, and... Uh, let's go with Laia. So we're all going to get fast healing, I think, like, two. Uh, so all the PCs, boom, done, and Lumia will move in, which I will take care of in just a sec. And that's my turn. Okay. Jamina, we'll save. Well, I guess you're immune to fear, aren't you? Yep. All right, so you're good. So. Sheetsy doodles. I know. Barbaria. So I take it I can't, you know, like five foot step and then fly my butt right in the way of the portal? Uh, you will you will touch the portal if you uh, do that. So you can. <laughs> See if we can compress it. You could, you could squeeze. Um... You could squeeze down and move over, 
But then that would probably count as a move action, and you would take uh, squeezing penalties. Very well. So many buffs. Okay. That's what you're getting right now, Jamina. What am I getting? Uh, it's in the purple text. Oh, plus three to attack. Yep. Oh, I can't. Sorry. Plus three attack, plus one AC, plus one reflex, plus two will, one extra attack, 30 feet of extra move, and fast heal two. Huh. <sighs> There you go. Okay. So I can't cannot speak there, but I can take a five or step here and be in the way of almost. Not like I'm opening up for somebody to charge, but okay, sure, let's go with this. Uh, five foot step to the side. Okay. And let's see. That's a great threat. That's a... Uh, no Pathfinder diagonals, tisk tisk. Miss, miss, uh, miss. Hold on, that 32, uh, let's turn that into a hit maybe. Yes. All right. That's a hit. Uh, w would you roll to confirm your crit, please? Yeah, well, I will do just that. And uh, let's see. Surprise accuracy. I don't think I get a use... plus four. Can you use I that on use a confirm roll? Yeah, I can use it on a confirm roll. Okay. Because I have to declare it before the roll is made. Okay. But I have the ability called Bloody <coughs> Accuracy, which gives me twice the bone, uh, twice the surprise accuracy bonus on crit confir uh, confirming crit. Neato. Yes. It is indeed. Um, Very the, the bonus from surprise accuracy is a morale bonus, so it doesn't stack with Bard Song. Bard Song is only plus two, so take your bigger bonus. So. plus plus. Let's see if I can confirm. Thirty-five will not confirm. <laughs> no. so the first hit did thirty-five damage. All right, he takes Second. less than thirty-five damage. And then the other one. I already is... took the, that hit points off of him. All right. Chipping him away. One point. It's <laughs> like. I have nothing for that. Alright, it's Baza's turn. Oh, uh, would Baza, Baza just charge in, or would he... Yeah, probably. Yeah. He doesn't really have much else he can do. I was uh, figuring he might try and flank around. Uh, he would enjoy flanking. He, he would enjoy not being in front of all those teeth. Unfortunately, you can't charge to any square you want unless you're a swashbuckler. Has to be the first one. First one that you can attack from. So well, third over here. This one. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get in the beam though. I mean, I do get another spite feel from this, as Agatha mentioned, but they could just vaporize me. And this is not my character. I have to worry about that. You should worry about that on your own characters, anyway. Yeah, but I don't want to fuck somebody else's character over just because I... Well. I'll charge there. <laughs> and uh, let me look up his thingies. 
Uh, he does not have a good chance to hit, so... Charging bonus. Wait, let me see something. Yes. Plus three from the haste and all that. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, he misses. Just six something. Charging. <laughs> Macro. That's a miss. Yep, I know. Uh, 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 what? In the talk, in the voice of Professor Foster. Good news, everyone. My uh, macro was out of date. Oh boy, did you crit him? It's too late now. Turns over. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know. I was trying to get the attention before that, unfortunately. All right. So Baza whiffs. Oh, uh, Baza, can you give me a will save? Yeah, I guess uh, draconians aren't immune to dragon fear. Oh fuck! I think they actually are. I might not have that in the rules, but they totally should be. Uh, so never mind. I think fine. Draconians are immune to fear. Period. Um. I've seen blocks, I'll say that. W wiggle feet are too cool for school. So let's see. Where do I want these guys to go? Oh, I, I know exactly what they're going to do. Oh, boy. Wow! A magic portal! I haven't seen one of these since that time I got teleported to the oh. Abyss when we were fighting the Clockwork Golem. And then they'll both... I still miss our guy. ketchup collection. <laughs> <laughs> he can't, like, he has no hope. Oh, my God. So close. Needed a 20. All right, it's the dragon's turn. Wait, Wait what? a natural 20 or a total 20? No, the, the Wigglefoot needs a nat 20 to hit the dragon. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, oh, I should have had them get into melee. They actually have some good abilities there. Maybe next time. Uh, the dragon... Uh, will just kind of laugh and suck in his breath. Oh, boy. And let's see, how long is his cone? 60 feet. So, okay, he can't hit Laia. Uh, he's just going to hose down Blue Wigglefoot, Jemina, and Varus. Right. With, Do I uh, get cover from the pillar by any chance? I'm not sure what spaces no. that occupies. Nope. All right. So, don't forget your plus one to reflex saves, everybody. Give me some DC 28 reflex saves. This sounds like it's going to hurt. So <laughs> it's a good thing you guys put on some resistance beforehand. Uh, what resistance? Wait, hold on, I might have something. Agatha casts uh, some communal resistance on the party. Okay, so... Reflex plus one. So uh, that's let's see, what do we got? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Ouch. That hurt a whole lot. I'm just gonna All right. put that let's out we'll there. Go foot what was it? DC Probably unconscious. DC twenty eight says right there in the roll. Oh, wait! That Wigglefoot's totally fine! He saved! Don't the Asian hey, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, what resistance do we have? Like oh, yeah, that's 10, a good question. Uh, it absorbs 30, the first 30 points. Okay, that's, that's good. Oh. That's good. So if you made your save, you'd take almost no damage. Yeah. If we if made we, our we, save. We, for all yeah. rogues. Yeah. No. Yeah. I need an 11 roll a 10. Uh, yep. Dumbs the brakes. Also, everyone within 10 feet of him takes 2d6 magical damage. Untyped. 6 damage. 
So Baza and Jamina each take six damage. So oh. it's not affected by, you know, like, yeah, anti invulnerability. It, it, it's, it's a prismatic aura. Okay. So six points. Yeah, that's stung a little bit. It's about what Wigglefoot needs to roll to hit something. Uh, Lie is up. Uh, Sebastian, how we doing? I'm doing great. You guys want a sandwich? I found a sandwich over here. Kind of uh, moldy, but it should taste good. You want to help us with the, the giant evil dragon that's blasting acid into people's faces? What evil dragon? The, the big green one next to you. Your boss said you're supposed to take a break, third. No. I'm, uh, I'm on break right now. Okay, well, let's try and fix that. It's my lunchtime. Uh, the union will get mad at me. You, you can sleep when you're dead, again. <laughs> uh, I'll cast uh, Dispel Magic on Sebastian. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so, let's see. You are going to have to make a caster level check. Yes. 33. <laughs> uh, I think that'll do it. You're free, Sebastian. Yay. Free! You can act on, Baz on uh, Baza's turn for convenience sake. Uh, should I still control Baza? Please, if you would. Okay. All right, now get those flanking bonuses. All, all right. right. You guys yeah, are going to be uh, flanking all right. Scoot out of line of sight. This is a... Uh, are there any walls that can block shit for me here? Uh, there's columns. Oh, and there should be some walls there, yeah. Yeah. So I have... Yeah, I have dynamic lighting set up. Okay, I'll block line of sight to uh, the dragon here. Oh shit, sorry for blowing my nose into the stream. I muted Skype, but not the stream. I'm sorry, guys! <laughs> we trusted you. Uh, like, my nose is still kind of fucked up from being sick. It's retarded. Anyway, uh, so assuming it's uh, Lumia's go, just gonna move up here. Then use. Um, <clears throat> she's going to uh, just uh, channel or quick channel energy. I think. Uh, let's see. That's a feat she has. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, quick channel takes though to yeah, channel. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so she's going to channel. What's that? Five d six. Five d six. Excluding dragon. Yeah, thing. obviously excluding the dragon. Uh, so everyone in the area gets 15 hit points. Appreciated. Uh, let's see. Then she's going to uh, just standard action channel energy, I believe, for another 14. Uh, also have her make a... Or is she immune to fear? She is immune to fear. Okay. Paladins. Yep. Paladins is bullshit. For the record, Paladine. so is Tika at this point in her career as a uh, surprising ass kicker. Speaking of which, we'll save. Uh, why? Is it against the fear or? Because yeah, she's immune to fear. Because he just said she's immune oh, to fear. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> her. It's okay. Uh, she's she's gonna move in and make. Yeah, that's within 60 feet. So single worm's bane hit. Boom. Uh, for 39 to hit. Uh, for 36 damage, this is again Worm's Bane, if that okay. matters. Uh, Varus is going to uh, enjoy his So it, hit, it hits too. about half as hard as he thought it should. Alright. Varus is going to take cover behind the pillar, for one thing. Uh, and then cast, uh, let's see... Oh man, I, I should hideous laugh to the dragon. No, I'm going gonna, gonna to blindness the dragon. Have, have him make a fort save. Uh, just for the lulls. How about you uh, make a uh, spell penetration check? Alright, that's just caster level, or is that uh, plus my ability modifier? Uh, I think just it's caster just caster level. level. Okay. Plus spell penetration feats, if you have those. 
Uh, Ferris is just like, I cast a spell. What was I casting? Eh, no. doesn't matter. His uh, crown uh, of uh, flame flares briefly as your spell is sucked up. And you see the uh, beam to the rightmost portal uh, pulse Actually. slightly. No, I'm not going to move that. I'm going to move Bro over here, also behind the pillar, and see. Rightmost according to whom? The map. Okay. Eastmost. Yeah. Sure. Since we all have the same point of view here, right must works. She will heal Varus. Alright, and that's my turn. Right. Okay. Jamina. I have. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I could just, you know, do my regular stuff. But then, uh, what else do you got? Well, I could try and step in front of the, if the beam. Oof! I don't know. You want to risk it? Just... Go for it. Yeah, like I said, or you know, I could just be completely vaporized. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, also, don't forget your fast healing, too. <laughs> or uh, what little good it does. Yeah, so let me just add those two. Let's do it. Uh, this point. Well, then, I'll just smack away then. Swing away, Jamina. Swing away. Oh, holy right. shit. Uh, All right. Thirty-one's a miss. Hold on, let me Forty-two. See about that. Fuck. No, can't help that Still much. Still a miss. Forty-two is a hit for thirty-nine damage. Uh, 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 for, uh, uh, Forty-two is crit threat. Have All a right. Nice roll, roll, roll to confirm that. Let's Nope. Nope. <laughs> Fine. Alright, so 39. Uh, and the 19, and the 37. Hang is also on, I'll one thing at a time. I gotta, like, individually do his damage re uh, reduction for the shit. Alright, and then the 37 is another crit threat, so roll to confirm. Nope. Uh, so 37 damage, and that'll be it. All right, you have chipped away at him quite effectively, Baza, aka third, aka Sebastian, aka the Kendra yeah, with the I heard ya. Jesus. Well, say um, something. Somebody's got to fill that time. So Baza will five foot step down here, like dipping under the uh, laser. If I can do that, uh, and then full attack the Wait, dragon. Where, what did you do? You five foot stepped up to the dragon. Five right, foot yeah. stepped uh, yep. like that way, under yeah. the beam. Uh, the beam bends around you, like oh, okay. it flexes out of the way when you get near it. Suddenly reminded of uh, um, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. What? There's beam like that. It's really cool. Um, I, I, then I'll uh, full attack. Okay. Let's see, plus three. 17. Uh, so 15, 15. Okay. Natural 20s all around. <laughs> oh. Sword. I know that feel. <laughs> Shield. <coughs> Down and whiff, whiff, whiff. It's okay. Oh, I haven't proved two up, but I can do that. 
for the shield, too. No! Alright! Our good news is somebody could flank on the other side now. You know? Somebody Tika wanna get up. over there? You're on the wrong side, bitch. <laughs> I mean, like, that's what she was doing. Uh, Sebastian will hop up to his feet and say, You're not my red lady. Oh, God. Have at the knave. <laughs> Punch it to the wake Wow. And, uh... Yeah, just, uh, stab it in the cooter. Does this dragon have a cooter? I did not get haste, so am I within range for the song? Uh, it's I'm going to say bad. probably not. No, I don't think so. So, yeah. Let me double check. Suck a duke! I guess the first one hits. The first one is a crit threat. The bottom one would have been a crit threat too, but it probably misses. No, you, you are affected by Bard's song, my bad. It's anyone who can hear it, so you can hear it. Oh. Huh. Well, the dragon gets it too, huh? Uh, Miss. allies. Miss. Wait, where's the crit threat? Uh, oh, the, the last 41. one. Oh. Well, you get a lot of attacks. Oh, some of those were... Yeah. Bazas. Yeah. yeah. Forty-one, twenty-eight, and thirty-one were main. All right. Uh, forty-one. And increase each of those threat. by three, apparent or two, apparently. Not enough. Okay. See if you confirm that forty-one. Be <laughs> awesome. I will pass that crit along to the next person to hit it. Okay. And I will instead spend a panache to increase. My damage by 12. So, a whole 29 damage. Alright, you do less it than half. It is of that. considered silver if that matters. Nope. Okay. It is magic as well. Doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, the wiggle feet. Gonna go around for flanking! And this Wigglefoot's gonna come too, but he's gonna step in the portal and disappear. Oh no! Blue Wigglefoot's like, holy shit! Alright. Blue Wigglefoot will attack the flanking bonus. We'll just see if he gets a 20. Nope. Alright, no dice on Wigglefoot. It's the dragon's turn. Uh, so, let's see here. What are you going to do? Oh, everyone within 10 feet of him takes 8 damage. Is that acid damage or... Nope. Okay. It's like his crazy prismatic aura that he's got going on. Untype. Gross. Aura of death now, Jesus. That'd be terrible. Aura, aura of fucks you up. <laughs> and he will uh, just sort of whip his head around over the party sigh say this is getting tiresome you be gone he gestures at uh, Jemina throwing a spell at her can I spellcraft the spell yes if you like I, I do like okay not very good at it what the hell 21 not that you do much could do much about it it's disintegrate oh fuck good luck Jamie Jesus Christ. So I think he needs to make a uh, attack Range roll. touch attack. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's your BAB, motherfucker? Might even... 23. Melee touch attack, who knows? We'll just 
to. I think he just needs to not, not roll in that one. Does a 24 hit your touch AC, Edra? Ah, uh, no it doesn't! Nice. Wow. Seriously? I'm just kidding, yeah, of oh. course it does. Oh. Who the fuck has 24 <laughs> touch AC? That's not a fucking monk. Uh. 87 damage. Bravo, Hedra, bravo. <laughs> You do still get a fortitude stick, say, for considerably less. Okay. Yeah, all for, I guess, half? No, actually, it's only 5d6 if you make your fortitude safe. What? Wow, this spell sucks. Yeah, it really does. Right. There's a reason why yeah. it does 2d6 per caster level. Make make, make a uh, fort save. Oh, that's that's lame. lame. So, I think it's meant it's... to be used on objects, not people. Uh, well, you should be used on people. They have people. bad fortitude saves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can roll... Decent at least, please. Yep. All right, so you only take five d6. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Uh, and did everyone take their eight damage for standing too close to him? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Laya, you're up. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um... I will cast invisibility on myself, and I'd like to study the portal of worry uh, with uh, knowledge arcana or spellcraft or whatever. Can I figure out anything about it? What's causing it? What the beam might be? How to dismantle it? Okay, make a say or make the uh, check. Uh, spellcraft or ar knowledge arcana? Uh, knowledge arcana. I'll go with. Okay, uh, so the portals uh, seem to be uh, uh, portals that lead into a nightmare realm. You can just barely detect uh, tethers of energy coming off of them, going back to Lorak and his dragon orb. So they're portals to a night re nightmare realm, and there are tethers that go... Uh, Back to from it. the portal to him, or yes. from him to the portals. From him to the him and the orb to the portals, ah, okay. uh, and they are feeding uh, the green dragon. Uh, basically, power based on uh, his misery. Okay. Um, nothing in there that says how to uh, possibly sever the connection. No, you, you have, like this is some crazy shit that you've never seen before. What okay, fair enough. The beam. Right. Uh, that's my turn. Alright. Oh, God. There is. So these beams go from the portal to the dragon, right? Yeah. From okay. the orb to the portal, from the portal to the dragon. Do you guys want me to see if I can encapsulate one of the portals in ice and try and break the beam that way? It's risky. Well, magical separation didn't work. Physical separation might. You could also try conjuring an animal and having the animal stand in the path of the beam. Uh, I don't, you don't think I have a conjurer. You don't have summon monster? Uh, no, I don't think so. I might have a scroll of it somewhere. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Well, well, Wall's next best alternative. All right, uh, Varus is going to cast uh, w Wall of Ice in its hemispheric form on the Portal of Worry over here. I'm going to make a Use Magic Device check to uh, make sure I don't uh, just rip the scroll up. I don't think so. So what are you casting on it? Wall of Ice Hemisphere. So it's basically just going to completely in like make a dome of ice all around the portal. Just 360. Which, which portal? The Portal of Worry. Okay. Just you drop uh, a nice palace on it. Yep. No exits, no entrances, just complete hemisphere. Alright. The beam is still coming out of the side of the ice. What the fuck? Is it, does it like burn a hole through the ice or just keep coming? No, it's, it's, it's just like uh, phantasmal. Well, alright, that was um, that was that. Land uh, if, it's, shit. if it's nightmare energy, it might require a waking mind to interrupt the connection. That's uh, that's my fear. 
Uh, Tika's gonna just wail on the dragon. Uh, miss. Brel is going to cast. John. <coughs> what? Tika only has one attack. Uh, I'm vital striking. There's no point in making the secondary attacks. So just auto miss. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I, I think Brel is going to cast uh, Silence in the space of the dragon, not on him. So it's a 10-foot radius, so eh, it covers most of them. You know, she'll cast it, like, here. That covers most of the dragon. Should keep him from casting spells. Well, area of effect spells, uh, you still have to make a spell resistance check to no, see no, whether he's No, I'm not casting it on him. I'm casting it uh, where he's standing. I think for AoE spells too, though, like if you cast a fireball, if they yep. succeed in the caster mm -hmm. level or the that. spell resistance check, they're just unaffected by the AoE. Uh, spell resistance, uh, see text or no. Okay. So yeah, I guess I do have to make a spell resistance check. No. They roll better than one. But 28! Doesn't work. Wow, okay. Okay, so his spell resistance is very high. It, uh, his, his crown flares and your spell just wicks away to nothing. Which, uh, which portal is reinforcing his crown? Uh, you do see the right, uh, beam, uh, surge briefly at that moment. That's portal of, uh, nightmares. nightmares? Okay. Yeah. Wait, hold on. No, no. The, the spell can be cast on a point in space, but the effect is stationary. Uh, the spells can be centered on a creature, and the unwilling creature can attempt to will save to negate the spell. But like, I think the way that's it's written, still like if, if if a creature is in the area of effect, it can it can make a save to ignore the spell. Is yeah, how yeah. I read that. Otherwise, it would be incredibly cheesy, and you would never actually want to cast it on a creature unless it was an ally. Oh, yeah, but then it they can just, just move out of the area. Fast. It would just be super broken and just completely fuck all spellcasting classes. Yeah. Eh, whatever. That's my turn. Oh, wait, Lumia. Yep. <laughs> hey, you might want to top off some hit points. People are getting beat up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, gonna... Actually, no, she's gonna, she's gonna move over here. From, uh, from here, she's gonna move over here. Just lay on hands, Jamina. 30 points for Jamie. Okay. Alright. Is that it, uh, Saban? Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Alright, Jamina. It's HP chipping time. Yeah, let's see if I can do something again. What do we got? We got a whiff crit threat. So go ahead and roll to confirm the crit threat. D20 D plus 23. Ah, can you mediate that one? Uh, is that a confirmation roll? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me look it up. All right. Well, while he's figuring that out. You want to roll to confirm the other crit threat there? Uh, cast a spell when a creature oh, fails right. an attack roll or skill check. So, does a confirmation roll count as an attack roll? Oh wait, hang on. For some reason, I was reading sixteen as nineteen. <laughs> So there was only one confirmation roll there. My bad. Uh, uh but that uh, from that hit. Remember, not uh, Wigglefoot didn't hit, but uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, he passed on the crit Sebastian. to you. Oh, so you, you yeah. just take the auto crit. Okay. Okay, doesn't matter. I take the next person crit. that hit gets the auto crit. Yeah. Perfect. And then I confer, uh, try to confirm roll, uh, save and how uh, the verdict on that. Uh, does a confirmation roll count as an attack roll? That's the question. Defend. Uh, sure. Okay, then. Burrell will gallantly inspire you for six. So, ba-doom. Confirms. 
So two crits. All right, and the second so crit se would be 39 times 2 minus DR. All right, you guys have taken him below uh, two-thirds hit points, it looks like. Woo. Yeah, those two probably felt really hard. Baza! Yeah. That's you, third. Yep. I gotcha. I gotcha. I will uh, full attack with Wigglefoot. Uh, w with wiggle flanking. Yeah. Oh. I know what you mean. Uh, that's, um... Advantage. Advantage, okay. Oh, wait, wait. If that's advantage, I get, don't get a reroll of first attack that missed, right? You, you aren't flanking with anyone, Jamina. It's you. The fuck is this, then? You have to be on opposite sides. Yeah, you gotta yeah. be... Crazy. I am on opposite sides. No. Flanking rules are fucking retarded when they come to big creatures like this. It's... Yeah. Actually, it's easier to flank. You can flank on opposite. It has to go like entirely through. Yeah. So basically, like, you need to wiggle move foot. Wigglefoot out of there. Yeah, you need to flank with somebody over here. I mean, uh, somebody on oh, the you act, take literal opposite step. side. I can't. Take five foot step. Uh, there's faster. a wall there. Yeah, there's a wall, and I can't go into his square until he attacks me. If he attacks me, I can go into his square. Well, well, if he misses me. Well, let me, let me, let me get to my pause. Anyway. Uh, is, would Tika be flanking me with Wigglefoot, too? I mean, effectively. Yeah. Wow, hey, he crit. Does not confirm. Nope. And the first shield attack. Hold on. Uh, and the no. off attacks. All with. Yay! Nah. Well, he hit with one. Yep, roll dams. Roll 1d8 plus 1d6 fire plus 7. Uh... Does anything add to damage? No. Uh, no. He does have sneak attack. Yeah. yeah I wasn't Bard song that. does yes. add to damage. You're flanking, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so, I was going to so add you... sneak attack. I said. Okay. Uh, Bard song. Also, you should you should make sure he does his favorite action at some point because you get a plus two to hit with that and a plus two to damage. Favorite action. F favorite target. Oh, well, why didn't I do that? <laughs> I don't know this class, so... <laughs> there, 26 damage. Three of that is fire. Alright. 26 damage. Comes 11 damage. It is a scoop. Alright, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Oh, that's right, Sebastian buddy, buddy. gets to go. I am gonna fuck you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh... Uh, I forgot what comes next, but I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> and, uh, I will all out attack. Well, you're flanking, so. So. Yeah, First one your... is a crit threat. Alright, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do these one at a time, so roll to confirm your crit threat. You're flanking. Reroll that. All right, I forgot. Woo. All right, you have one crit. All right, next attack. You've missed. Reroll it because you're flanking. Miss. Third attack. Reroll it because you're flanking. Woo. Crit threat. All right, roll to confirm. All right, see so if one crit. Roll it again because you're flanking. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. So nice. you have one crit, one normal hit. Uh, I don't think I can actually pass on both. You only made one. Well, oh, no, a normal that's right. hit. That's right. I, yeah, I'll, I'll hit with. Uh, yeah, you guys. You guys know. Oh, 
Nice. And then... So... Well, you did 36 damage, and then... No, you did two 18 damages. Two right? 18 damages, so probably 8 and 8. Plus Six 3 damage. and 3, who knows. Yeah. Uh, but then... I will use my uh, swashbuckler hamstring ability to dirty trick as a swift action. <coughs> I can only attempt to... Uh, hold on a second. I've not used this before, so bear with me. I'm a Mauser, I think is the one. Yeah, hamstring. Uh, I hit a foe whose size is larger than my own. I can attempt a swift action to attack attempt a dirty trick combat maneuver check instead of the normal conditions that can apply be, uh, with dirty trick this deed can stagger the target only if the check is successful alright so here comes my CM CMB check okay probably not going to succeed then do yeah. it no. no I got nothing like right. bog down that whole game for nothing it's okay uh, it's Wigglefoot's turn uh, pops back out of the portal. Holy shit, guys! There's skeletons, and it's outside this big tower, and Alhana and Malcolm are getting killed. It's crazy. What? Yeah, I saw it. Alhana's dying. Like they're they're fighting a bunch of skeleton guys. I think one of them's like a skeleton wizard. Uh, Blue Wigglefoot will flank. Just roll 2d20, because he's awful. Yeah. Alright. Green Dragon's turn. Everyone takes 2d6 damage. 4 damage. Everyone in 10 feet, that is, of course. Oh, only 10 feet. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll need to pack some hit points that you took uh, that you should move. Boop. So both the wiggle feet missed? Uh, only one attacked. The other one was telling you guys about all the cool shit yeah. you saw on the other okay. side of the portal. Uh, the green dragon. What happened to that one portal? Why is it suddenly frozen? Uh, uh, I, save it? I, I made it. Uh, I, I let it go. Go away. Don't worry about it. All right. This one's, this one's going to full attack. Uh, oh. We're going to power attack. Jesus Come on, Christ. bring it. Come on. Let's go. I need to see like what the penalty is here. Uh, your base attack yeah, is so four and every like four points after. So what is your ba BAB? Ginormous? Yeah. So... It's like minus five or six. Alright. Go with minus five. Uh, Alright. So power attack biting at Jemina. 41. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Alright. And then... See so five times three is fifteen. Forty one damage. Don't forget stone skin. Yeah. I got stone skin. Sweet. Yeah. Everyone's got stone skin. Except Sebastian. Yeah. Oh. Yes, oh wait, that was minus. <coughs> Alright, and then we're gonna have two claw attacks. Also on Jamina, or yes, okay. Jamina is the one doing almost all of the damage, so she is getting all of the hate. Yeah, all hits. Dude, to say that I have twenty six AC going at home. Look at you. All right. Yeah. So. And let's 
see. Oh, oh fuck. Shit. No. No, no, that's wrong one. <laughs> Uh, undo, undo, undo. You can't oh, undo when you make that screw up. Shit, uh... Guestimate. No, it was 120... Yeah. So, minus. There we go. Alright. Two wing attacks. What is the bonus on those? It's 24 now. Yep. Uh, 21 and 15 damage there. And then Sebastian's going to get tail slapped. Hi. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, that's a miss. Oh, that's a miss. And I'm going to spend a point of panache to enter his square. Oh, oh boy. boy. What's that? Just... <laughs> also, Hedra, keep count of how many times you get hit, because you can only soak up 150 damage with stone skin. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, also, uh, he does seem quite a bit more PO'd and is moving a bit faster now. Oh, shit. Hey, I know. What's your name? Uh, uh, Paris, you mentioned that already. Alright, just checking. While I am within the foe's space, uh, the dragon will take a minus four penalty on all attack and combat maneuver checks not made against me. And okay. all of my allies that are adjacent uh, oh, to fuck. the foe and me are considered to be flanking the foe. So I have to move up to Jamina if I want to. Nice. All right. Uh, it's Laya's turn. Okay. Um which uh, which portal did Wigglefoot step out of, saying that uh, no, shit was portal. going down? Nice. Portal of loss. Portal of loss, huh? Mm. But portal of nightmares is the one blocking or uh, shoring up his spell resistance. Yeah. Well, I will uh, step go. out here. Let's see. I think we got to go on the portals. Well, at the very least, the portal of loss. We know people can go in and out. We don't know about nightmares yet. I will uh, dimension door over here and step through the portal of loss. Okay. Shoop. Scroll down, Agatha. Scroll, 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 scroll. I have a read aloud for you here. Uh, as reality solidifies on the other side of the portal, you recognize your new location, the gates of the Tower of the Stars. Only Alhana and Malcolm are there, still alive and fighting for their lives against swarms of foes. The knight is trying valiantly to protect the wounded princess pierced by arrows and glowing green smoke in a half dozen places. I see. Um, okay, well, I will use the rest of my movement to uh, get a little closer here. All right. I'm, uh, I'm still invisible until I... Uh, cast an, or do an offensive action to an ally, but I don't know, these are apparitions they might see through invisibility. Uh, but that's it for my action. All right. Um, can we take a quick, like, five-minute break for uh, bathroom and such? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, all right. Uh, when we come back, uh, I will resolve the turns of the other people in Ajitha's pocket dimension. Uh, After the these messages, turn. we'll be right, right. back. I went all out on this fight. <laughs>
I'm back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I guess no one's here. I'm here. Are you back to killing things? What? I don't know. I don't know if it's been five minutes or not yet, but I'm back. Okay, cool. Let me just scroll through real quick and pick out some stats for these guys because I lost their original stat blocks. Um, there we go. All right. Um, let's see. So this guy, how fast do you move? Just got back in time. Yep. Closes in on Ohana. Mm. Yeah, this one will launch two scorching rays at Malcolm. <laughs> Where is your BAB? Wow, your BAB sucks dicks. <laughs> Much like Malcolm. Oh, god damn it. Alright, Malcolm. Alright, Malcolm's unconscious. Oh, god. Um, oh, that's nothing uncommon. What? One of the skeletal apparitions will finish him off. Oh, fuck. And I just jumped right in here, and he uh, he just obliterated himself, huh? Kinda. Mm -hmm. uh, and like that was a waste attack. of my turn. <laughs> well, Hana's still up. All right, and this is bone. Does caster. she have both her legs in this universe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hana takes some magic missiles to the face. Almost max damage. Yeah, these things are rolling amazingly. And one arrow. Blink. Almost max damage. Alright. Um, I think that covers all the enemies there. Uh, Lyle, was there anything left of your turn? Uh, no. Used my movement to cast a spell. 
Okay. Uh, Varys, you are up. Alright. Varys is gonna walk around. Uh, Alright. Lumi is going to, uh... I think she's gonna jump through a portal. Oh, back for the healing. Yeah. Boop. Get back to you in a minute. Sounds good. Sees all this shit going down. She's gonna run up. And, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get. One more square forward. And then, uh, channel energy to harm the undead. Or actually, yeah, let's, let's just move. So we'll move, like, through here to here. That works. That should get. Yeah, it's three. Alright, channel energy to harm the undead. She will double channel. So, uh, let's see, 5d6. Boop, boop. So, yeah, make me some will saves. Let's see. What they all fail. It's just those three guys, though, right? Uh, the three guys who are next to her and the, uh, the bone caster and the skeletal archer. Okay. Actually, uh, hold on. Let, let's since you only were well, one save. Uh, let's and do one age. Oh, it's too late. Right. Yeah. Okay. I uh, already started rolling saves. Well, no, I said the mage. Okay. What's the DC? Uh, DC. That's a good question. Uh, DC. Let's see if she wrote it down. Nineteen. Okay, they all fail. Cool. So they all take seventeen plus eighteen damage. Uh, this is Damn. holy damage. Zap and zip zap. Pop. Pop. Wait, they had two. There was two channels they were saving against. Yeah. All right, let me. Uh, what I was trying to say. Sorry. Let's see if that's no. <laughs> Didn't help. And the caster. No. Nope. Oh God. All Good right. Fuck. So he takes seventeen, eighteen. And the bone caster over here dies. Yay. Okay, so that was, uh, that was, that was Lumi's turn. Uh, seeing that that just happened, uh, Varys is going to be like, God damn it. And <laughs> he's going to walk over here, hide behind the horse booty, and cast Cure Sears Wounds. God damn it. If I could actually type that correctly. 18 points for Jamina. Don't forget your fast healing, too. Uh, yeah, it's coming up now, so... Alright, uh, Tika... Wait! Wait! Hmm. Our dragon friend... Oh, am I within his reach? Back. Yes. Alright, can I... I didn't know that. Could I cast offensively? You didn't know you were within his reach. Fair enough. Alright. Uh... Let's see, he's got a power attack, so I have to take the penalty. Whew. I think that hits... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna say. Unless I get, like, cover from horse booty. No. And then, yeah, that, that's, gonna, that's gonna hit me real good. He is tall enough that he is just like a chomp. Alright, yeah, that'll, that'll hit. 4d6 plus 18 plus power attack was another 18 on that one. 56. Holy shit. I think you lost your spell. I, I might have. I might have. <laughs> Because so I know the damage is a component of the DC uh, so to save. seeing that happen, Brawl's going to come over here and this time cast defensively. And that's uh, caster level plus your modifier, I'm pretty sure. So that's uh, 15, mm -hmm. yeah, for her. She succeeds, so she's going to uh, do the same thing to Varys. Give him 20 hit points back. And, oh yeah, it had stone skin, so that's another, what, ten points I didn't take, so yeah, alright. And, uh, yeah, the the healing Congo line intensifies. Awesome. That hurt a lot. Oh yeah, and Tika, did I roll her? No. So she's going to... Do Am I flanking with Wigglefoot from where she's standing? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Worms Bane, uh, let's roll that, uh, and then Gallant Inspire that. Might as well try. Nope, didn't help. Alright, she misses. Okay. My turn. 
Yep. So I'm flanking with Wiggles. No, you're not flanking with Wiggles. Sorry, I was chewing. You're not flanking with Wigglefoot. No, with the Sebastian, I mean. No, not yet. I have to be uh, adjacent to you. I'll move over there, though, because I want, now that I'm in his square, I can move about inside his square freely. <laughs> I love being underfoot. <laughs> he has a big square. He does. Yeah, unfortunately, you're way later. So, Green Dragon, suddenly it's on zero. And right above nine. Basso. He, he yeah, in fact has said he was getting pissed off and moving faster. Wow. Uh, that's like some sort of legendary like bullshit. an epic boss monster. <laughs> fueled by ancient artifact magics. Yeah, like all the crossers are not getting the dragon orb out of the freaking place there, but then again, I'm just a stupid barbarian. What the fuck do I know? I don't think we can fuck with a dragon didn't, orb. Didn't Lorak help the dragon orb? Yeah. yeah. Lorak is, is holding it right now. Hmm. What color is the dragon orb? I'll give you one Green. guess. Right now it's flashing all kinds of colors. Okay. Hmm. Almost chromatic. Anyway, let's see if I can hit. Yes. Turn that 35 into a, um, a hit automatically. Mm. And uh, that's uh, one crit threat. No, uh, did you put, no, the, the first one is an automatic crit, so that's uh, 74 damage. Then I have a crit threat. So let's see. Roll to confirm. Let's see if I can confirm. No, I do not confirm it. But at least. And uh, so all of my attacks hit seven, or what did you say? Uh, you know, I said the um, the 35 I turned into a hit. Assuming his AC hasn't changed. Yep, all the damage from Hedra's hits has been taken. Okay, so three solid hits. Nice. Well, four technically with the crit. <laughs> and now we're right. not too shabby. Oh, there's a cat there. Whoops. No, oh, kitty, which one? Ah, oh, Booker. Oh, I was okay. gonna set my plate in his in that chair, but he's sitting there. All right, uh, Dragon's just going to keep wailing with Jamina, since that seems to be his most effective option. But first, everyone within 10 feet, take 12 damage. Okay, this is going to hurt really bad right about now. I'm going to yeah. take that on each of his turns? Yeah. Fuck. It's almost like some, some other fucker just ran into with our, away with our healer. Uh, I don't know who. It seemed in character. Alright, um, next up, we're going to full attack Jamina with power attacks, because that was working fantastically. Uh, you can't really miss, I'm not the AC tank. Yeah. Alright, so that's 46 plus 18 plus 18. 54 damage. Wow, that roll. <laughs> Two claw attacks. I'm going down if our healer is not stopping a fucking shit. God damn it, Lumia, you use this whole bag. <laughs> I can heal as well Thir as she 35 can. 35 and 39. Well, uh, just to point out something. If you could heal as good as she did, what the hell are you getting hit for? I didn't know he had that much reach. Man. Yeah, I didn't know this giant ass dragon has reach. Me, Holy me, crap. Me, me, wine so... harder. Maybe Varus is just trying to get you killed. You don't know. Shut up. Two, two yeah, wing slaps. Yeah, next. Both hit. Yeah. You are deducting 20 from these, right? Because Fen is just rolling damage for two things at once, right? 
Not all of Wait, them. What? Like the bite was a single, single hit for fifty-four. But like um, the two d eight plus twelve plus twelve. Two, that's one attack. Uh, that's one claw. Power attack. Oh, what? what why did you roll two hit it, rolls? Because uh, I rolled for both of them, and then I rolled for two d eight, and then I rolled for one claw, and then I rolled for the second claw. Oh, First claw right. does thirty five, the second one does thirty nine. Why and is it plus rolled, twelve plus twelve? Why uh, wouldn't it just be plus twenty four? Plus twelve uh is his normal but he's power attacking, he gets plus twelve on top of that. Oh, okay. Uh and his Wait, wings. Are you giving him are you giving him like two handed at uh, you had the damage bonus on the top right No, that, that's on his bite. That's where he's, why he's getting plus 18, plus 18. Okay. Just checking. Like and the wing slaps both hit. They are like offhanders, so they're 18 and 17. So it's like that's 1, 2, 3, 4, right. 5. So you've taken 10 hits from him now. Um, you're uh, yeah, the spell that Ash gave that. you is only going to hold up for one more round of that. Uh, tail slap. Sebastian. What's up? Get off. Get out. Get out of there. Fucking rat. 34. Uh, wait, wait. You take uh, a minus four. will four. hit. Wait, you took a minus four, correct? Oh yeah, that's not factored in. So if that would make one of those miss, you can have those hit points back. <laughs> Actually, it does. Yay! The, uh, the one wing slap. Uh, yeah. the one that's thirty there. Ah, uh, the uh, that'd be the thirty-five damage claw, was a thirty. And the wing slap that was uh, twenty-seven would miss also. also. So eighteen. So, <coughs> hey, that's six plus twenty-four and uh, three plus so twenty-four. You, looks like you'd get thirty-three hit points back, assuming that stone skin's dr ten, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So right. thirty-three hit points back. I spend a point of panache to use my dodging panache okay. to immediately move five feet and gain my charisma bonus to AC. <laughs> against that attack. So I will uh, move five feet up there. And uh, that misses because I get an extra four to my AC. Nice. Jesus Christ. Just against that attack. Baz and Sebastian, you're now up. Save Hedrick, please. How? Aggro. Pull all of the aggro. Uh... Baza will, like, shove Tika to the side and tell her to go destroy the dragon orb and then attack. Not, you know, actually shove, because that would take up a movement. 2d20d1. Miss. Miss. Miss, miss. He probably just should have shoved. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Sebastian. Or gone and destroyed it himself. Will. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. And attack the thingy. The, the dragon. With a single attack. Okay. Hit. And Pass that crit along. <laughs> and <laughs> your crit on a 15, fifteen, so no. No damage. Yeah. Wiggle feet. I'm gonna go through the portal. Whoop. Get him, Wiggle Feet. 
All right. Think of what? Uh, this will put a five foot step down. And. Let's see. He's got to have something he can do. Nope. We'll just see if he can get a 20. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, no. Advantage. He has advantage. Remember, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't need to confirm. Oh, no. That was two different. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. yeah. In that case, he has oh, advantage. Alright, so. Right, so we definitely confirmed a failure. Yeah, okay. Nothing. He's got nothing. Uh, and his who pick uh, is flying and lands over there behind Tika. Wait, wait, he had, he had advantage, so wouldn't that negate the net one? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I guess. You're right, you're right. Did that wrong. Cool! He gets to hold on to his shit. As much as I enjoy seeing Wigglefoot fail. At Green Dragon's turn, everyone takes 2d6 damage. Oh, fuck's sake. Hold on, my Again? Same dark. Yep. Twice per turn, apparently. The good news is, Jamina, you get a crit, or whoever hits the thing gets a crit, and you're flanking now. Yay. So. so you've got that going for you, which is nice. There's always something. Hope it works. Like, some you mean, like, all nice. make a concentrated effort to try and draw aggro away from Jamina? Wow, Polymorph oh, you know. sucks now, doesn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. What the Literally fuck? Literally the worst shit ever. That's why druids suck. Alright, a uh, coat of glowing stone appears over the dragon. Hmm. Wait, he cast? Did he cast offensively? Uh, he oh. didn't... He didn't make any gestures or anything. He was just sitting there, and then stone appeared across them. Oh, shit. He oh, used yeah. a 250 gold diamond. His hoard must be nearby. Um, shit. Right, I will uh, cast Maximize Searing Ray. Captain is Poeka. I will oh, toss one at the full health guy, see if that uh, is enough to kill him. Alright. Give me damage. Uh, 14 to hit his touch. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. And... Just uh, barely. So, 24 uh, scorching ray damage. <clears throat> Oop. Uh, bummer. All right, well, next one's going to go with the bone caster here. Okay. 11 on his touch. Uh, he's... Shit, I lost his step lock. He's undead. It can't be that high. Whatever, it hits him. Okay, so 24 damage. He explodes into a pile of bones. And last one on the almost, um, almost dead guy. Okay. And 12. Alright. He pops. Alright. That's, uh... That's it. I don't have any quicken spells, so... I will back up towards the portal, but not actually leave it just yet. Say, uh... Hey, Wigglefoot, you see the last skeletal archer there? Get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. That Wigglefoot didn't actually, like, do anything on his turn, so... Wait. Nah, I just hopped oh. in. Yeah, he should do something. Yeah. Charge. Get him, Wigglefoot. Crit his shit. Crit his shit. W Wigglefoot hit him. Unfortunately, it's not a sneak attack, so. Because uh, not horribly was it, surprised was it? that. <laughs> Five damage. Check. Plonk. I hit him with a rock. You should have thrown an anvil or, I don't know, holy water. Check your pockets. You probably have something like that. Hmm. Let's see. I got this flask with a hole in it. Flask with a hole in it? Yeah, it's holy. I don't know what that is, but it might be a sphere of annihilation, so don't... It's a holy do flask. Anything. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, God damn it. 
<laughs> it's a great wiggle foot. <laughs> You actually had to maximize to quicken oh. disintegrate the whole time. Just finally got yeah, yeah. Up. I got like level thirteen slots. It's fine. Yeah, spells for days. Oh god. Uh. All right, I'll anyway, have a full attack. I think that's it for my turn. I have no idea what her actual stats are. I, I so got I'm you, bro. Too okay. Well, give give me stats then. All right, let me we'll make pull this her, official. Pull her shit up. Uh, see, she. Oh wait, does she still have her arms in this this universe? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, let's see. I'm gonna assume she still has her yeah. bow. So, uh, fuck. Uh, it's just one d8 plus uh her whatever magical rating it has. No strength bonus. Uh, yeah. If she has a composite bow, it's a plus one strength bonus. Uh, Okay. Not actually an archer, turns out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck you, skeleton. Alright. <laughs> Varus. <laughs> Team Lumia and Varus. Why don't you do Lumia first so we can get some closure down here? Okay. Uh... Alright, just gonna come over here. Going to quicken channel energy pop skelly go away. <laughs> All right, let me roll a, a save. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. All right, All last right. skeleton pops. Stop! Uh, stop. So... stop! Things okay. happen. Okay. Uh, all of the corpses uh, turn to smoke, including Alhana, even though she's not a corpse, uh, and a very tired weakened sounding voice uh, whispers Ahana and then all of the terrain and features begins folding in on itself rapidly Whee. and you are then expelled back out through the portal yay Boop. and the portal disappears Shit. we're right in beam. prime fucking uh Breath weapon. All right. uh, and his scales are no longer quite so shiny. Are they still stony? Yeah, well, that's that was a, a separate thing. Okay. Ah, that's the worst buff. One gives him spell resistance. The other one probably buffs up his physical attack. Damn it. Uh, no, his his physical attack wasn't buffed at all. Oh shit! Well, I don't know what. Ice prison uh, over there. Uh, I'll, I'll be nice and tell you guys that you just disabled the one that doubled his hit points. Oh, well, that's oh, well then he instantly dies. <laughs> no. Oh. His percentage stays the same. Active. Okay. Uh, Alright then. On that case, uh, Lumia will just come over here and. Uh, Had we done that at the beginning, then he'd be dead. Yeah. It's almost like Lumia shouldn't, you know, like, be in within striking range, you know. Uh, because... I can't... Hold on, that's, that's not my turn. I'm not done yet. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Lumi's gonna lay on hands jammy. Wait, wait, save him. What? Lumia moved oh, and right. channeled. Okay, uh, so she, she actually has an ability that lets her do that at range, so it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, but you'll only... It doesn't matter, she doesn't have a turn. She moved, and then she channeled as a standard action. No, she quick, she has... she quick channeled. I, I did specifically Isn't that a move that. action? No, it's a swift action, I think. Is it a move action? Maybe I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Yes, yeah, so I mean, channel energy is a move action by using two daily uses of that oh, ability. Oh, well, alright then. <laughs> Never mind, I fucked up. Okay, so that's the end of Lumi's turn. Uh, in that case, uh, Team Varus will uh, both cast defensively. Oh yeah, his, his, his DR15 slash artifact is also gone. Yay. Alright, boop, boop. Will succeed. Uh, so. I have an artifact. I could have been going through that. So, Jammy, you get uh, 44 hit points. Yay. I'm just going to move Varus and Brawl slightly so I can see Jimmy's health bar here. Yeah, there you go. And uh, Tika. Uh, God, I, I don't think destroying the Dragon Orb is a good idea. Do not. Do it. Is there any way I can make like a knowledge? Action with 
don't have a sword specifically for that. Yeah, it, it, I don't suppose Dragon's Bane's been reacting when it gets closer to this beam or anything, does it? Dragon Bane, Dragon's Bane has been buzzing like crazy the entire time you've been up here. Yeah. But like when I get closer uh, to the it beam. Has not, okay. it, not that you've been able to tell. Okay. It, it's it's buzzing it's like so fucking loudly right. you really can't. Okay. I'll tell you what, Baza, you go get the orbs. It's like you're wielding you a can't giant hurt vibrator. This guy anyway, okay? I'll deal with the dragon. Uh, what's your name? Save it. Yeah. I don't think I can. I I don't think we should fuck with the orb right now. I really don't. No, I mean, he said he's holding the orb. Right. I. This, yeah. Yeah. What happens if you sever a connection? You know, like cutting off a hand. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not doing that. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna smack him. Does a 35 hit by any chance? Now that his bullshit's gone. No, his AC is still the same. All right. Uh, so Sebastian hasn't uh, passed. Sebastian, you haven't passed forward a critical, have you? Yeah. You do have a critical pass forward. Mm-hmm. Uh, now that I won't fuck Whoever's with the first to hit him. Uh, and I, eh, I think I do about the same amount of damage as you mean on that hit, so... Uh, 68, so... Yeah, right. oh, shit. Yep, I, I will boost up to a 37 for a 34. Yep, okay. So that'll happen. Yeah, all's a good. Taking uh, the crit. Yeah, I, I take the crit. Flop. Dragon's bane, motherfucker. All, all right. right. Team Bear's gun. All right. Before Janina's turn, some shit gonna go down. Ah oh, shit. All right. The air is cut by the sound of an explosion. You look up to see a mountain of gold and green hurtling towards the tower, streaming rivers of red. Uh, luckily, no one's around there. Uh, two dragons, a... Or, no, not around where it's going to land here. Uh, two dragons, are gargantuan gold and a smaller green, crash through the room's northwest column, smashing it to rubble. The green's body is pulped by the impact. The gold staggers up. Uh, weary, oh, no. oozing blood from a half dozen wounds... You recognize him as Oryx, the gold dragon that you met in... Shit, I wrote the wrong city name now. I can't remember. Uh, Solonost, I think. Aw, oh, that guy. Who temporarily silenced Jemina. Ah, Cyan Bloodbane, his voice booms. Where is the green gemstone man? Our auguries place him within your twisted domain. The green you've been fighting for so long laughs. Oryx, old foe. If he's anywhere near, then I assure you, you've lost. Nothing will stop the queen from entering this world. With a snarl, the ancient gold dragon joins the fight. Other chromatics battle greens in the sky above, their breath flashing like lightning in the night. So let me go ahead and update the map here. Also, your... Where is uh, this happening? Right, right here. Let me just, uh... Jesus. So much blood. Also... Your thing shatters apart. Yay! Also... Good, because I couldn't dismiss that if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty convenient. Gore! Blam. Holy fucking shit! Holy shit, he's smaller than this asshole. <laughs> They're all, right. all smaller than Kale. What do you mean is up? Did. Did. He's smaller, but more powerful. Yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, uh, is she is she's wheeling that? Though this one still has two portals empowering his shenanigans. Yeah, he's oh, he's yeah. gonna die. Oh. I, I think well, he's he, uh, wait, he's flanked. He's yeah. flanked the uh, count. Yeah, okay, let's see if this works. A blam! Alright, oh, first oh, swing is a miss. Second swing will hit for 25 damage. Alright. Uh, uh, 
I can't. The third swing is a miss. I think they're all misses other than the fourth swing one. is also a miss. So he's still up. Alright, it's I should update his token. Cyan Bloodbane. We can't see his name anyway, but alright. Oh. Uh, it's, it's it's in the wall yeah. here. You can see it on the turn order. Oh, yeah, that's true. Slut. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, his name is Cyan. But, yeah. but he's a green dragon. Uh, dude, I don't name this fucker. He's from the books. <laughs> Maybe his parents were uh, colorblind. <laughs> they thought they were blue dragons the whole time. <laughs> In the books, yeah. like, no, this shit doesn't happen and Raceland makes this guy his bitch, but this is way more fun. <laughs> uh, let's see, he's pretty sure he's gonna die. So, let's let's spread around some misery here. We'll bite the healer. Which healer? The, the one that's been, uh... Yeah, good point, let's eat the moth girl. What? How? He's going to bite attack well, the moth girl. Wait, that might miss. Hold on a second. Wait, he has a minus 24. Uh, oh, sorry, minus 20, 25 to hit the moth girl. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Uh, that, that meets. Wait, hold on. Let, let me see if I can sandbag moth girl here. Hold on. How could she have such a high AC? Uh, Armor, shield, all that stuff. Jesus. Yeah, I, I've got good stuff. Ah. Wait, he has a minus 4 to hit. And... Oh, that that makes out of twenty five. Yeah, that that's that meets her AC, which is twenty five. All right. Uh, that, so can I can I like it? bull rush Brel out of the way or something? No. Okay. Fuck. She's taking it. All right. Bye, Brel. Chomp. Okay. Brel will pretend to die. All right. Make a uh, bluff check. That is something that Brill is probably good at. Yes. No, oh, she's alright at it. Wow, really? <sighs> oh, wow, really? Alright. That's the worst shit ever. Alright, claw attack. On Brill still? Jesus Christ. Yep. He's gonna kill somebody. Yeah, dude, uh, get away from the mine. Minus. 20 plus 21. Does that hit her prone AC? Uh, yeah, that, that'll do. Alright. 2d8 plus 12 plus 12. Oh, wait, she 34. has skin. Hold on. Hold on. Give her zip points back. But yeah, uh, then 24. That happened. Alright. Other claw. Yep. 27 damage. <laughs> wow. Little Moth is pretty tough. Can she pretend to die better? <laughs> no. <laughs> that one, man. That one. Oh, God. Where hell no. 15 damage. Alright, hold on. She might still be alive. What? Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Wait. So it's five damage after. Dead Brel. Uh, no, actually, unconscious Brel. Uh, but not dead Brel. Now she's actually unconscious. All right. Bro. Um, do a sense motive check for the dragon. DC uh twenty to see if she's alive or unconscious here. Uh, sense motive is wisdom. Hey, do you think she's dead? All right. Uh, who's next? Lumia or Varus? <sighs> Two is Varus. Lumia! Yes. <laughs> wow. The only person that can resurrect you if someone actually does die. Aw, oh, man. L Lumia c can take fucking hits for days. Tw 28. Uh, is that including his minus? Uh, yeah, that'll yes. hit her. That's what's all, pe all, right. all penalties. Alright, yeah. Well, that'll hit. 16 damage. All right, I think you mean minus six damage. All right, and Teek is taking a tail slap. All right. Uh, what is... That's 21. Tika dodges out of the way. 
Yay! All right, and everyone Not within ten feet okay. takes seven damage. Whew. Oh man, Wigglefoot's almost Save. unconscious. Save it. Brella's alive. Wasn't uh, wasn't that disabled when we took down the portal of um, whatever? No, that's a different thing. His, his oh. scales aren't quite so glowy. He still has the aura. Oh, okay. Somebody fucking heal, Brel. You're the one that, controlling the healer. I'm not. I, I don't have a turn before that. You went from zero to dead in one turn. It's Oryx's turn. Heal this motherfucker dragon. I, I include uh, the dragon in my bard song. If it matters. Stomp, 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 stomp. Alright, Sion will take his bite of opportunity. Ow. It's minus four. Yep. Uh, he misses. Actually, no, wait, he doesn't miss. Arx has uh, thinner scales than he does. Shit. God damn it, Arx. I swear to God, I did not write, write in you dying here, so if you do that, it's going to be really Jesus annoying. Jesus Christ. Alright, and then Arx is going to flamethrower him. Yay. So, let's see. Out. DC 29 reflex save. <laughs> All right. Yeah, then it worked. Hundred damage. <laughs> Holy shit! And like that, that all the tower behind him just kind of melts off. Uh, Sebastian, give a reflex save. Oh fuck! Downside of being in his square. For what? Uh, hundred damp fire damage. Okay. Uh, this is either me. Living or dying? Oh, I will. no! Roll high, oh, motherfucker. Spend everything. Spend everything you got. Can you gallant inspiration that? Save I cannot it? gallant inspire saves. Gallant inspiration not... what? Uh, I haven't rolled anything yet. Your saving throw. Uh, I haven't rolled like, anything yet. I, I, don't know, I don't want Oryx to accidentally kill you. I don't think Oryx I can... have a plus four from adaptable luck, plus four charmed life. You can always roll in that one. Oh god. <laughs> and oh, wait god. till you see this bonus. Oh uh, god. Uh, fan, in worst case, can Jamina just pretty much just take No, I will not allow it. If you fail, I will let, do that. Will let, not allow it. Let, let's see if Third can pull the magic out of his hat first. Well, wait till you, you see the bonus, just first off. Don't roll a one, bitch. Don't roll a one. Oh god. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. I do have evasion too. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Sweet fuck. I, I, I have to say, I did not expect you guys to be able to uh, brute force as much of that as you did. I was like, man, with all of these ridiculous buffs I'm stacking on this dragon, there's no way you'll be able to do this without clearing the portals. <laughs> and no, you guys just beat your head against it till it worked. Have you learned that nothing? Is what in this party three does. Three years of this shit. That's a, hey, you guys got it, man. It was a good fight. Varus will run I over admit and nothing. Grill. As soon as the fight ends, I got more readalouts for you. Uh, Cyan Bloodbane, the ancient green dragon responsible for this twisted nightmare, collapses. His eyes flick one last hateful gaze towards Oryx before closing forever. What? Oh, okay. uh, he's, he got the kill shot. Uh, let's see, Oryx, oh no, that's the wrong thing. Uh, Oryx roar, er, rounds on the party with uncharacteristic speed. Heroes, where's the green gemstone man? Isn't he with you? Uh, no, Ooh. we left him in town with you guys. Alright. He scowls and says, but the auguries, they said he was here. If he came here, he didn't come with us. We left at, him back in Solon. At that moment, clattering footsteps ring from the staircase to the north. You turn to behold Tam and Sir Tython striding up the staircase, followed by Sarah, Cece, Bryce, Peaches, and any other NPC followers that I've probably forgotten. 
Okay, the shirt followers. is open, revealing a dazzling green gem that glows with a sickly light all its own. Tam immediately rushes for Lya, sweeping her up in a big hug. Mm. Bryce face palms and turns to Peaches, uh, whispering in her ear. Cece scowls and admits, I guess you didn't die after all. Sarah seems almost giddy. Today is going to free up so much forest for nesting. Uh, Arx snorts while other uh, gold dragons land in the topless tower. Come, there is little time. Tachesis is preparing to enter our world in the flesh. If she succeeds, not even the other gods can stop her. The gemstone man is the only one who can close her portal. And you are the only ones who can see him safely there. We must fly to Naraka now or all is lost. Uh, what about the elf with the dragon orb over yonder on his little throne? Just uh, I knew, I, that, I, knew I was forgetting to write something. Uh, with the dragon uh, dead, uh, he looks up and sighs feebly uh, before dying. The orb rolls out of his hand onto the floor. Dimension door, grab it. All right, are your hands uncovered? Are you wearing gloves right now? I'm wearing maid gloves. All right. And you are okay. It is about the size and weight of a bowling ball. Okie dokie. That's almost at your carrier capacity. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Lia's used to handling Terrible balls decks. like that. Remember, she's with uh, Tam. That's true. Yeah, but... Bowling ball at smallest. Uh, oh. Me. Had one other thing I was going to do. Boop. Boop. Da -da -da -da. Oh man. Oh, that was fun. Yay. I'm gonna miss you guys. What? Sebastian will just go around and give everybody big tight hugs. But, but crying. Seb, why? I'm just an illusion here. I'm gonna disappear soon. Oh, God. Oh, speaking of that. Both Oof. wiggle feet disappear. Nope. Red Instead of foot. disappearing, there are now four wiggle feet. <laughs> the illusion was two of them were permanently invisible and silenced. <laughs> uh, guess you were the real wiggle foot after all. Uh, How'd you get here anyway? It's a really long story. I can Never tell you when we're riding on the dragons. Oh, well, okay. See, what happened was, and he starts rambling. Uh, let's see. Fair Arc Jesus. snorts and says, hurry. Even now my brothers and sisters die in a losing battle to buy us time. Do not let their sacrifice oh. be in vain. All right, then we go. I should throw some more gold dragons down, huh? Plonk. So, do we get any XP on the way there, or? God, so much XP. Plonk. Whoops, that's RX. Can't reuse that. Plonk. Plonk. I don't suppose Cece's gained any levels over the like year she's been gone. Nope. Well. All right, you guys, all get a level. Whee! And are you all climbing onto uh, the dragons? Yes. Hey. All right. I, I guess the the magic keeping me here is still around, so I'll go with you guys. At least yeah, until I disappear. <laughs> oh, wait, hold uh, on. Before we go, gonna her Lumia will run downstairs and grab Malcolm and Alhana and bring them up with us. And uh, all the NPCs who are down there. Okay. Grab them. Uh, Fen, I check my inventory. Is Jeremy the Bloodworm still alive? <laughs> <sighs> Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> no, Jeremy. <laughs> he took the bullet for me and disappeared instead of me. Uh, man, no. Never, never get to see the other things I had. The other portals. Never. Yeah. 
I don't suppose all Hana's legs and and or arm grew back. No. Oh. Oh well. Yeah. She see she's straight. Hey, quick question. Yeah. Okay, quick question. Whose corpse am I carrying again? I think that's Malcolm's, Malcolm's right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Did that disappear? No. No, no Malcolm is legit dead. Alright, uh okay. so Lumia just got rid of her level, uh her, her name. Uh, I think you're gonna have to leave that up to Kanathis. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Now we get our level. Yeah. Uh so, no so you guys all concrete XP just level. Pile. Yeah, you get a level. Okay. You're you're moved up to the minimum for your next level. God, wait! I get two thousand XP for this whole adventure. Fuck. Wait, that's. <laughs> are, were you that close? And I'm a level behind the party, so at least one level, probably two in some cases. Everyone's level thirteen. I'm okay. level eleven. Let's go with it. I'm level uh, twelve. Uh, you're all thirteen now. Yay. And then Adjib guys... actually went down a level because of that. In, in case you guys oh. aren't aware, uh, like we're pretty much we're pretty fast closing in on the end game here. Uh, this campaign could be over in one or two sessions. Oh man! Yay! Uh, the flight will take eight hours, uh, so you are able to uh, get a full rest and recuperation uh, in before you get to the battle for Naraka. Fun times. Ah. It's really happy so, with how that session went. <laughs> Laya, what level is she now? Like 14? I think so, yeah. Awesome. Ajita, there. What? What's that? You're you level, level 14, right? Yeah, that, that only puts me at 13. Oh, okay. Yes. We switched over to um, the slow track, so I was really close to 13, but, uh, uh, yeah. If we would have had more sessions between that, then I probably would have hit 13, or if we would have got XP from the previous sessions instead of all at the end, probably would have hit if, 13, and then the free level would have boosted me to 14. But. If the campaign wasn't uh, close to wrapping up, I would. Right, right. I've probably tried to give you guys an actual number of XP. But it's easy just to kind of level everybody out for the end game here. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Yay. Oh, boy. I'm going to have a lot of prep work for the next session. Uh, so I, I'm like just going to preemptively say that next Dragonlance session is probably going to be a pass. Uh, there is... I have to do a crap ton of work for the next session. So, next two sessions are uh, Mage Punk? No, because I, I will be working on Dragonlance when I should be running, that's what I'm saying. We will still have Mage Punk next week if there's anything I can do about it. But... <sighs> I'm really disappointed in Cyan. Really disappointed. I thought he like he, I guess he was a good good threat, but I thought it would be a little <laughs> almost killed bro. Little worse. Bastard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, he was gonna go for Lumia, but he threw Brel under the bus. It, it's okay, Lumia. Lumia could have taken hits for days, man. She's just tough as shit. That, that stone skin that Agatha gave the party saved the party. Yeah. That